the morning after. <laughs> Oscar De La Hoya. <laughs> Brother, I get the play. I get the play. But Ryan Garcia, you know Ryan Garcia is not the face of boxing, okay? Why cap? Why cap? Why cap? All right, but before I talk, we talk about that, William Zapetta, um, you launched an attack and you, and you won in two rounds, three knockdowns. Congratulations to you. What a savage of a fight last night. Um, and Oscar, congratulations to Golden Boy, okay? But with that said, I get the play. So Oscar De La Hoya says that Ryan Garcia is the new face of boxing. And his argument is that Javante Tank Davis only got 200,000 K buys before Ryan Garcia. And while fighting Ryan Garcia, when fighting Ryan Garcia, he break records. Okay, 1.2 million, 1.3 pay-per-views. Uh, you know, the gates, you know, top four or something like that uh, for revenues. Uh, in Las Vegas, what a cap. And let me tell you why. If that's your argument, what type of numbers were Ryan Garcia doing before Javante Tank Davis? And that's the black to Jorgas. The answer to that is Ryan Garcia didn't fight pay-per-view uh, before Javante Tank Davis. So if you want to look at the data and say that's the reasoning, you can try to argue that that's the reason for Javante Tank Davis not being the face of boxing. But you can't argue that that's a reason for Ryan Garcia to be now claimed the face of boxing. If anything, neither is. And Canelo still is, if any case. But I'm leaning towards Javante Tank Davis being the face of boxing. And that's because it's just like, why is Elder True Spence the A-side for Terrence Bud Crawford, for his fight with Terrence Bud Crawford? Because of his fight with Mikey Garcia. When he had that fight with Mikey Garcia, that was a big time fight. It had a lot to do with Mikey Garcia. But since Elder True Spence dominated, he was the guy. Now he's on notice. And then his fights alone, he became a draw on his own. Well, we're just projecting. We're looking at Javante Tank Davis, how he fights, how he was already a pay-per-view star in this day and age where piracy is a big thing, a huge problem. And he fights Ryan Garcia in the biggest fight in years, and he dominates, 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 okay, um, knocking down Ryan Garcia twice, TK on him in the seventh. He dominates. He's the man. So I'm leaning towards, I'm saying Javante Tank Davis is the new face of boxing, but if you don't agree with that, you to say Ryan Garcia is is ridiculous, and we get the play. Yeah, I'm assuming this is the play, rather. Ryan Garcia threatens Golden Boy, um, not showing loyalty because they feel that the loyalty, or he feels that loyalty wasn't shown after he lost. And he said, hey, listen, I'm not discussing my future, or I have not discussed my future moving on with anyone. He's kind of sending a message that he's rethinking the uh, trajectory of his career that makes De La Hoya sweat. So then De La Hoya comes out with this a big home run attempt at I am in full support of Ryan Garcia. He's the man, he's the face of boxing. And Ryan Garcia, I talked to Ryan Garcia um, numerous times. Um, I consider him a friend of mine. He doesn't come off as a guy who needs a pat on the ass, he just doesn't, to be honest. He's very grounded. He doesn't come off as a guy who needs a pat on the ass. And he's very intelligent. So I think he sees through the play. I think that wasn't a smart move to cap like that for Ryan Garcia. Everybody can see through that. And another thing I want to say, too. Because you are friends with somebody or you do business with someone or know someone, it doesn't mean you have to lie to the people. Okay? Case in point, I'm far closer to Ryan Garcia than I am to Javante Tank Davis. But Tank was better. He's better that night. Tank approached the fight extremely smart. And Javante Tank Davis is a new face of boxing. I don't have to lock. Teofimo Lopez. That's my... I respect Teofimo. I've, I've, had, I've been following Teofimo Lopez since the very beginning. But that doesn't mean I have to lie about the race rant. Okay? Devin the Dream Haney. Do the Devin Haney. Do the Devin Haney. I like the Haney's. But who do I think will win between Tank and Devin the Dream Haney? Tank, tank, tank. Well, now that we have more information, 
Tank wouldn't fight him unless there's a rehydration clause anyway. Oops, no, real talk. Unless there's a rehydration clause anyway. You know, if, now that we have information about Mario Barrios, so De Devin the Dream Haney being bigger than Tank, Tank won't fight him, especially with him if he beats Lomachenko and still stays undisputed. And, you know, he looks good against Lomachenko. He's not going to fight him. unless And, and Devin's already weight drain at 135. He won't fight Devin Haney at no catch weight or nothing, at, even at 140, because you saw Mario Barrios, we did with Barrios. He won't fight Devin Haney unless there's a rehydration clause. In that case, I definitely lean towards Tank. But I'm, but Devin Haney already said that he wouldn't take a fight with Tank if there's a rehydration clause. So that fight will probably never happen anyway. But with that said, because I'm close with somebody doesn't mean I have to cap to the people. Right? Um, De La Hoya knows better. Ryan Garcia is in the face of boxing. Um, he did have the opportunity to be um, in the Biggest fight of his career, biggest fight of Tank's career, one of the biggest fights in the history of boxing. And Javante Tank Davis came out as the victor. Um, I'm still holding firm on the idea that Javante Tank Davis is the new face of boxing. Showbiz for adults. Sometimes I wonder, are these statements for the fighters or for himself? And I'm speaking of the statements from Oscar De La Hoya. I'm out. Huh?